You know the classic staircase induction. If you've been around hypnosis for a while, then you probably do. You've probably experienced it. It's a pretty standard induction, easy to craft, easy to follow, and effective. If you're new to hypnosis and aren't familiar with the induction, this is how it goes. It starts, as most inductions do, by asking the subject to get comfortable sitting or laying down in a place where they can relax and let go. So go ahead, get comfy, shift around if needed, get into a position that feels natural for you in this moment where you can let your muscles melt down and relax into the surface that you're sitting on. Feel all of the tension fall away from your body and your mind as you let your breathing slow down, settling into a calming rhythm, just breathing in and out. Focusing on the sound of my voice as you sink down into the surface supporting you. Breathe and focus, letting your mind calm as you follow my words. Staircase inductions often have a strong visual component, which helps engage and immerse the subject in the scene that has been created. This is really useful for guiding the subject on the story that is being told. So go ahead and imagine a scene for me. You might be in your house, out in nature, in a new place that you're unfamiliar with. You can be wherever you like. There is just one important thing that must be in this scene. A staircase with ten steps. Put yourself at the top of these stairs. Picture the way they look. Are they old and rickety? Simple wooden steps. Covered in a soft, fluffy carpet that is warm underfoot. Are there intricate carvings on the banister? What colour are they? Build up a picture of this staircase in your mind. Let the images become clearer and clearer, along with the scene around it. Place yourself in that scene. Feel the temperature of the air around you, the smells, the sounds. Immerse yourself in this scene. Stood at the top of the staircase. Are the stairs going to creak as you walk down? What can you smell? Can you hear anything besides my words in your head? We're going to walk down the stairs in a moment and begin your journey into trance. When you reach the bottom, you will be deeply entranced, free of thoughts free of burden, floating in mindless emptiness. That will feel so nice. You know it will. And all you need to do to get there is to walk down these stairs. Stand at the top. Ten. Take that first step down now. Your barefoot. Feel the stair beneath you. Is it hardwood? Soft carpet? Whatever the material is, it's draining the stress out of you. Nine. Another step down. 
continuing the journey. Free of stress and worries, as all of your cares fade away. 8. Breathing slowing down now, into a gentle, comfortable rhythm that lulls you further down into trance. 7. Breathing in and out. Are the steps creaking as you walk down them? Is the banister smooth as you run your hand down it? 6. No longer in your room, fully immersed in this journey down the stairs, with your thoughts floating off like they're being carried away on a warm summer breeze. 5. Spiralling down, faster and faster, physical and mental tension gone, as you relax more and more. 4. Deeper and deeper with every breath that you take, with every word that you hear. As your body sinks down and pulls your mind with it. 3. The bottom of the stairs are in sight. Almost at the bottom now. Letting everything go. 2. Going deeper than you ever thought possible. With just a simple countdown. One, just one more step before you're left floating in the fuzzy calmness that trance brings. Zero, so deep as you reach the bottom of the staircase, so deep down. Let the image fade from your mind now too lost in trance to care about anything, too deep to pull the mental energy together to form a mental image in your mind. My words are the only thing left in your mind now. This is how the staircase induction normally goes. It builds a picture in your mind and lulls you slowly and steadily down into trance. It's a nice gentle ride down. But there are other ways to do it. So come on up now. One, two, three. Wide awake. I'm going to show you another way. It starts out the same. So my words might be familiar. Picture those same stairs that you were walking down a moment ago. Make them clear in your mind again. Breathing slow and steady. We're going to walk down the stairs in a moment and begin your journey down into trance. When you reach the bottom, you will be deeply entranced, free of thoughts, free of burden, floating in mindless emptiness. That will feel so nice. You know it will. And all you need to do to get there is to walk down these stairs. Stand at the top. 10. Take that first step down now. You're barefoot. Feel the stair beneath you. Is it hardwood? Soft carpet? Whatever the material is, it's draining the stress out of you. 9. 
another step down, continuing the journey, free of stress and worries, as all of your cares fade away. Eight, breathing slowing down now, into a gentle, comfortable rhythm that lulls you further down into trance. Seven, breathing in and out, other steps creaking as you walk down them, is the banister smooth as you run your hand down it? Six, you step down on step number six and are surprised to find that the stairs transform into a slide. You must have hit a button and transformed them. You start sliding down the stairs, slowly at first, getting faster and faster, as you fall further and further down, deeper and deeper with every moment. The slide isn't ending, it won't end. It takes you down through a hole in the floor as you go past the bottom step, deeper than zero, plummeting down ever deeper with every moment that passes. There is no way to stop yourself from falling, nothing to hold on to, nothing to slow your fall. Do you see how that one was different? There was a twist. It started off slow and gentle, lulling you down gently. Then there was a sudden sharp tug that pulled you down so much faster. There are so many ways you can tweak the basic staircase induction. A slide, looping stairs, a hole in the floor, a missing step. Going up the stairs. I've never heard anyone do it going up stairs. But I like the concept. Maybe sometime you will get to hear my version of the staircase induction that involves going up the stairs. But for now, it is time to wake up. As I count you back up from one to three. One, back in your room now, no longer at the stairs. Two, energy coming back into your body, mind awakening. Three, stretch out, take a deep breath and wake up. Wide awake now, have a great day.